Math page 1086. We are looking at pages 25 through 28. Hopefully you figured out the base two and did all right on those previous pages, converting numbers to base two and base two into regular numbers. And now we want to talk about adding and multiplying in base two. All right, let's give it a shot. When we're adding, we can add zero plus one. Obviously that is simple, that is just one. One plus zero is one. One plus one is two, but remember in base two, we don't have the digit two, we only have ones and zeros. So when you add one plus one to get two, it actually bumps a one into the next column. And so if we were to go back and think about the place value, this would be one, two, four, and eight, okay? So that would actually add up to eight, nine, 10, 11, okay? Let's look at this number. If we um, are adding one plus one, we get, we think two, but it actually is one zero. So we put the zero down here, carry a one. One plus one is again two, but it's zero, carry the one. Zero, carry the one. Again, one plus one is zero, carry the one. And again, we get zero and bring the one over to this column, all right? And so uh, it's not hard, but again, it's different. It's very different. Try to do that page, score that. Don't try to do the multiplication page until you know you've done the addition page correct and, and uh, can move on, all right? Let's talk about multiplication. Very similar to when you're multiplying a number, like let's say 321 times, let's say 22, okay? You do the two, four, six, and then you move over one place, and then you multiply two, four, six, and then you add, okay? Carry if you need to, right? So this is the old system you're used to. This is, this is familiar. We're going to do a very similar thing here. We're going to take the one times all of these. So one, zero, 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 one. All right. Now I'm going to multiply this one times all of these, but I move over one place value. All right. So you move over one place value. If you want to put a zero in there just to kind of hold that place, you can. So one times one is one. One times zero is zero. One times zero is zero, one times zero is zero, one times one is one, okay? Third one, we move over one, two, and then we're gonna do zero, 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 because zero times all of these is just five big fat zeros, okay? Then for the next place value, it's the fourth one, so I need to move over three places, one, two, three, and then I put a one, try to line these up, one, zero, 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 one, okay? Now hopefully I have these lined up and I don't get myself confused here. If I bring this straight down, it's a one, bring this down and it's a one. This is a zero, one, bring this straight down, it's a one, a one, a zero, and a one, wow. That's a big number. Don't forget, with these, we need to put the two to indicate that the answer is base two. Uh, you'll have some problems where when you do this, you do end up with another one lined up in the same column, and then you would get zero, carry the one, all right? Just like we kind of did over here in this problem. This is a little challenging, all right? It's, uh, Hopefully you can understand it and uh, do that page. Stop, don't go beyond that page, score it. And then uh, let's, the next page actually talks about base eight. And I think we need to do a video to cover that, all right?